Hello, YouTube. Hola, YouTube. So, Throne of Liberty is out, and it's been out early access for about a couple of days now, and that's all I've been kind of playing. Um, so here is my first impression review. Now, before we go any further, my reviews are not meant to convince you of anything. They are my own personal journey and minds alone. I can't speak for thousands and thousands of players who are enjoying the game or who are not enjoying the game. I just want to put that out there and disagreeing with somebody online about their opinions is a little bit cringe and weird. So before we get into the review and the first impression and my number score, um, mind you, I haven't devoured in game as much as somebody who has been playing in Korea for a long time. My opinion is very different from them who have been playing the game for a long time. But my opinion is also very valid because I am giving you my first impressions review. And obviously in first impressions, you don't have access to the in-game or anything. I'm gonna be judging the sound design. I'm gonna be judging um, the graphics, the combat, the um, um, bugs or whatever that is in the game. Um, so here we go, straight out. Um, if you just wanna not watch the rest of the video, um, my review is at a 5.8 out of 10. 5.8 out of 10. Mind you, um, my takeaway from this is meh. It's very meh. If somebody asks me, so what is your opinion, Sally? I'm like, it's mid. It's not something that is standing out in the MMO universe, and it's not something that is unbearable to log in and play, but I also don't feel compelled to be like, oh my God, I'm going to bed and I can't wait to play this tomorrow. I do not get that. It's probably just not for me. And that's completely fine. Um, but let's talk about some of the things that I think the game does really, really well. I think um, one thing that will be uncredited for most people, and a lot of you guys might not care about this, but I am, am what do you call that, an audiophile? Um, I really am huge in sound design, music, um, uh, composition, and voice acting, and blah, 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 blah. And I think the game does a very, very, very good job with its music. Often, um, taking it back to music like The Shire, the old uh, soundtrack for Lord of the Rings, you get a little bit of a whimsical-ness, uh, you get fable, um, you know, pub setting Irish I don't know like like I get this really immersed um, music and I think honestly if I just forever take away anything from this game is the music like I'm going to be listening to the soundtrack even when I'm not playing this game I think it does a really really good job sometimes uh, the, it becomes nighttime in a town and you hear a Korean ballad playing in the background it's so good dude I cannot express how good the sound design is it's really really good um, there's a couple of things that I don't like in the audio design like when it's raining and anywhere you go in the world it sounds like there is plastic hitting a tarp everywhere the cha the sound does not change whether it be from a tent the water hitting a tent um cloth tent the water hitting a castle the water hitting this the droplets have the same sound and it's sometimes it's a little bit the mixing on that is really weird and it's really loud and jarring um there's some sounds that, like being on top of the well the big well in the game there's this like chimes this bell thing that is really annoying um, so yeah, it's not all perfect, but for the most part, I think that's what the game does better. It's the sound design and the, the team needs to get credit for that because I don't think they will. Um, story, I didn't pay attention. You guys already know my stuff. I don't really care about the story. I think the presentation is nice with the great visuals. I think um, seeing the badass woman with the purple um, hand chasing people around. I don't keep up with the lore, but the presentation is pretty good. It's okay. Um, combat is something that a lot of people, I feel, have been strongly um, not for the game because it's this pseudo-tap targeting mix of, I don't know, like Guild Wars 2, people say a lot. Um, I, I've never played that, and the best, um, I, I guess the best comparison I have is like a for Final Fantasy XIV-esque um, tap targeting system with something like that not entirely final fantasy 14 but hopefully you understand what i'm saying um that's what the game combat feels like which i don't mind at all i think the combat um 
for the most part, is pretty decent. I think they've done a really good job. There is sometimes it does feel janky. We're like um, uh, weaving in certain skills into other ones. Um, it does feel a little bit um, weird sometimes, but very on the bottom of weird feeling, l l less janky. It's better than not better. So combat is decent. <laughs> I don't I would I don't mind the combat at all. I'm having a lot of fun playing great sword and yes, probably not the conventional great sword um sword and shield that a lot of people are playing or great sword, you know, dagger. I'm playing great sword crossbow, which is not meta, probably not good at all, but um the game should feel good playing any spec, right? That I, I, that's how I feel. Like if a casual player is uh, joining the game, they're not going to do a billion research, right? Like, like somebody coming in from a nine to five is just going to pick up the weapons that look cool to them and they should feel good. They should feel good. And I feel good playing my great sword crossbow. So that feels good with a little bit of jank there. But overall combat, I think is pretty solid. Um, nothing that stands out either so that's why i went with the mid review because it's not really stand out ish either it is you know it is what it is um let's see what are the parts of the game so we devoured the story the combat the um, uh, music uh life skilling um i didn't get too deep into life skilling so don't crucify me too much here but at surface level, first impressions, it seems... I really hate the fishing. Let me put that out there. I don't know why they're trying to make such an in-depth mechanic with fishing. I like just my little throw in my fishing rod and it bobs up and down and then you reel it in. I don't, I don't want to spend two minutes trying to reel in a fish. That is just not fun for me. I think fishing is convoluted. I think it's, it's annoying. Uh, great kudos if you enjoy that sort of stuff. But to me, I'm okay with a simple throw the stuff in the water, make it bob up and down, and reel it in, akin to Lost Ark. Speaking of that Lost Ark and life skilling, this game does a little bit better with the life skilling than Lost Ark, which is pathetic. Lost Ark's life skilling system is very pathetic, very bare bones, very non-existent. Uh, but this game does a little bit above that, but definitely below Final Fantasy XIV and BDO when it comes to life skilling. So if you're a life skill enjoyer, you're probably not gonna get a bunch of grit from this game. Definitely better than Lost Ark, like I've said, but it's not a big intricate system where it has like levels and levels, at least from what I've seen thus far. Um, not a Final Fantasy XIV or BDO life skilling system. Uh, when it comes to gearing up, I'm gonna be honest with you. I've been watching a lot of streamers gear up and I've been myself trying to figure out the whole uh, gearing up system. Holy. Why do MMOs insist on making things so unbearable? So many systems, so many this, extract this, do this, skill this, this book for this, this sword for this. It's just like... Uh, it's just so much. Why can't we just keep it simple? I don't know, Chad. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm on the simple mindset. I prefer that. Um, I'm, I'm still going to do more, my, more research on the whole enhancing and skilling up and getting better gear. But I do. It, it might be more simpler than BDO. Um, I'll give it that. But it still doesn't make it any better, right? So, like, if we're comparing MMOs here, sure, it's better than probably some of the more convoluted systems that's in Black Desert Online, which I'm not okay with either. But also, I prefer something more simple. Um, that's just my personal take. If you want to get more deeper with the enhancements and having this vertical system and this vertical system to get more power from this vertical system, and that's your choice and you prefer that, that's good. But this is my opinion, and I wish it was a bit more simplified, more even than it is. Um, I don't know. Call me simpleton. Um, overall, the package design, what I am given my first impressions of the game, is a 5.8 out of 10. At best, a 6. If you missed uh, this uh, game, um, from what uh, my point of view right now, you're not missing much. It's just another MMO, which is not necessarily a bad thing. In the grand picture where mmos are already really stale 
and really bad where there's no reinvention there is no um innovation there's no nothing new it's the so same rehashed mechanics and stuff from any other every mmo that you played it's not too bad i guess but it's just like meh if you're running around endless circles in black desert or you're doing your 20 millionth braille why not take a little time off and enjoy it for free on october 1st you're not hurting anybody by that um i think it's still something that i would say tell people hey why not just give it a try be a judge yourself don't let me convince you otherwise um it is going to be free on october 1st and if you're watching this review it's probably already free go out there and get yourself um your your first hands-on impression of this game um the pay to win right pay to win is a conversation that's going out right now um every time there's a new game that is a live service game and you can swipe your credit card um is it bad is it good is it this is it that at first coming into the game i felt like there was a lot of copium from a lot of people <coughs> making videos oh my god the, the pay to win isn't too bad blah, blah 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 um and then a lot of the other side the haters you know the bdo players the lost art players oh my god this game is so pay to win i'm gonna give it to you real and raw just the way you like it baby microtransactions in this game are definitely not bad in fact I might say that this is probably the best microtransactions that I've ever played in any MMO. You don't need a tangible three subscription method like in BDO for your value pack, your comma Sylvia blessing, your book of a sealed book of old moon. You don't need loot scrolls. You don't know this. You don't need that. You don't need a tangible this. You don't need this battle pass. You don't need that seasonal uh, acquisition. It is very bare bones and simple. One currency, Lucent, that you can acquire in the game by getting rare drops, selling them, and getting that well currency for free without having to do anything. Will there be people who just swipe their credit card and buy that item that you just dropped? Sure, but you know what you could do with that well that just purchased your item? You could patch, purchase the battle pass. And say there's a new skin that they just add guess what you can do you can buy it with that same money there is not this like three-way step program to like convince players that it's less pay to win because you buy an outfit then list in the market board then get your silver they don't have that they don't have this like gatekeeping method where you circumvent that by swiping your credit card to buy materials like Allah or akin to lost ark you don't have to do that it's very, very in your face. This is our model. And I kind of like that. Like, I'm not like, look, I, I'm, I'm the game is a 5.8. But I'm going to give uh, flowers where flowers are due. The microtransactions in this game are definitely not bad, at least right now for me. Will the game get worse later on? That's a whole different subject. I am doing my first impression, what I know right now review. I do hear that there is some, some ruins things and some trait things later on that makes pay to win a little bit more pay to win. I haven't digged into that. And if I continue to play the game, then I would um, definitely make a video uh, talking about that. But right now, the whole Lucent system doesn't seem bad. And it's actually, if more games approach a simple monetization model like this, I would prefer it. I would prefer that. Um, so yeah, if you're like a hater from any of the other games that were mentioned here, and you're just logging on to um, throw um, shade at the game because your new favorite, your old game doesn't have many players anymore because of a new game, really. Do your research before you open your mouth because there really isn't a lot here going on um um at surface value at first impression like i said i might change this opinion much later but right now the whole thing feels really smooth very nice um okay so just to close out the video i want to ask you guys a question what do you think about the game write it down below are you planning to give it a shot on october 1st when it becomes free or when it's free right now whenever you're watching this video um overall my first impressions review of the game we started off uh, um 
at a 10, it decreased to a nine, to an eight, to a six, to a seven, to a six, to a 5.8. It could get better once I experience more in-game dungeons for as far as PVE is concerned. Um, there's, um, I guess the elephant in the room, PVP or something that I haven't mentioned. My review is below what probably another person would put at an eight. And the reason is, is because I am missing a big main course of this game. I'm missing the stake of this game, and that is PvP. So yes, my review is going to be a little bit swayed for the PvE enjoyers um, and non-PvP enjoyers. I do not have experience with PvP. I do not want a PvP. I don't care for PvP. And this game is definitely a PvP game right now. There are talks about making it more PvE friendly for the West, for us, um, but that is not existent right now. The game right now is very heavily focused on PvP and or the competitive uh, spirit of killing this many monsters fast, your guild has to be the strongest. Uh, you know, it's, it's very much this competitive thing, which I don't have time for and I don't want to. Um, it's not fun for me when you start being sweaty, when you start having schedules. Hey, everybody log in at this time so we could do this. That to me, I already played that when I was like 13, 14, 15 years old. Hey, I'm a granny now. I don't have time for that sort of rhetoric. I am happy with my PVE games and this game is just meh when it comes to that. So I'm not gonna um, take your time any further. This is my review of um, TNL so far. And I'm gonna continue to mess around with it and try to get a little bit more out of it, trying to get like as close as cap as possible as a free to play enjoyer. I do not plan to swipe any more outside of my early access bundle, which was $40 for me. I don't plan to spend any more and I don't think I need to either, to be honest. I think if I wanted to cut a lot of corners, um, I could get to that point and swipe, but that's just kind of like, I don't know, for me, the grind aspect is, is fun for me. So I don't know. Yeah, there you go. Lock it in, boys. Hey, YouTube. Yeah, you. YouTube, you know that the success of this channel relies heavily on you. Viewers like you. By hitting the comment, like, and subscription button, you help me really, 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 really a bunch. More than you ever know. You could even put it on mute and walk away, you know, or lower the volume and walk away. But all the success of this channel relies on you. And I'm very thankful if you hit that comment, like, and subscription button. Also, follow my social medias. Twitter. My Twitter, I put out new art, new stuff. If you want to see more of this, follow me everywhere. Twitch everywhere, everywhere. I give you my permission, my consent. Go, go. Now, um, hit the follow, comment, like, subscribe, Twitter, Twitch, everything. Uh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching.